it's time for coffee and crochet with Sarah. <laughs> well, good morning, everybody. It's Merry Christmas in July. I've got my Christmas shirt on <laughs> and I've got my Christmas cup. <laughs> And someone sent me a message I said, it's too hot to think about Christmas. Well, one of the neat things about going ahead and maybe spending a week or two in July talking about Christmas stuff and holiday stuff is because a lot of those projects are smaller, you know, and so we can whip up some things and set them aside and have them ready for gifts for when the holidays do come around. Well, good morning, everyone. I already see Kimberly and Rita, Samantha, Audra, Leah, Jane, Sarah, love your name, because <laughs> I'm a Sarah too, <laughs> Tammy, Margaret, Stephanie, Keely, that's a pretty name, well I'm so glad you're all already popping in, there's Kathleen, and um, I, I, I was a little afraid I was going to be late today because I came up here into my yarn studio to get everything all set up and my computer decided it wanted to do an update at the last minute and I was like, come on, come on, come on, get done, get done, get done. Just in time, it got all finished. <laughs> I have a thing when it updates, it says you can pick a time and I usually pick a time in the middle of the night, but it didn't do that this time. <laughs> Well, those of you who are popping in, I want to say Merry Christmas in July. <laughs> you want to know something really funny? I decided to wear this shirt because it has like some, you know, knitting looking yarny stuff on the side and it has llamas and I put it on. I thought nothing of it. And when I started the video live, I looked at it and I realized my llamas are upside down. <laughs> so that's a little how I'm feeling this morning. <laughs> All right, everybody. <laughs> well, I've got my snowman cup, even though it's it's only going to be 91 today, so that's cooling off here. I mean, it's been hot for about a week, but we're getting some rain today, which is really good because we're having some fires in some different areas, so rain is good. <laughs> All righty, so I got my silly snowman cup. I've got two of these. I got them in a, in a gift from my grand one of my granddaughters, I think. Anywho, I've got peppermint coffee today since it's Christmas in July week. And so everybody, let's clink, but don't smush my snowman. <laughs> clink. Christmas clink. <laughs> All right, so we've got a lot of things to do today. We're going to do a little angel like I showed you in the intro. It's a cute little angel applique. You can use it for an ornament. You can use it to put on anything you want. Put a magnet on it. Add it to anything. It's super cute, super easy, and I thought it'd be a lot of fun since it's Christmas in July week. We also finished Baby Week last week, so I've got a couple items to show you from that. And then a new one we did yesterday. And then I also found some new yarn I want to tell you about I'm, that I'm very excited about. You all know I get really excited about yarn. <laughs> Alrighty, now, before we get any farther, I want to remind you about our giveaway. Remember last week I showed you the new, ba the new bag and then all the yarn that was inside of it? I'll, it's red and white. Okay, now, <clears throat> you have till next week, next Tuesday, on our live video, I'm going to announce the winner. Okie dokie. Best of luck to everybody. Comment on last week's video, whether it's on Facebook or on YouTube, to be entered into the giveaway. All right, don't forget, and it's a really cool, sturdy bag this time. Canvas, and of course it says, Coffee and Crochet with Sarah. <laughs> All right, so I want to remind you of that next Tuesday. All right? Okay, let's go ahead and get started with our angel. Okay, I'm going to move a few things around over here. And we're going to click over to the other camera so you can see my hands. And I'll just roll over here. And what I have here are two little angels that I made. This is just made out of a white Red Heart Super Saver. And I added a little gold flower button. This one is made out of, I think it's called a Vanna's Choice Glamour. 
and it's a it's a it's a number one light and so I doubled it to make the angel and I used two strands and then I added a little sort of antique gold button to it I put a string on it because I'm gonna hang this one up I think all right but for our demonstration today we're gonna use gold all right and it just takes a small amount you can use any yarn that you have on hand it can be um, acrylic cotton whatever you got but you want it to be a medium weight number four if you use a thinner yarn like this one double your yarn up all right we're going to stitch with our H hook which is a 5.0 millimeter I got a couple of little buttons here because I just like to add a little button you can add a flower you can add a rose you can add ribbon whatever you want to and then of course you'll need a needle to weave in ends and a pair of scissors and it's really a simple little project all right so we're going to start with my slip knot and we're going to chain five chains we're going to join this chain five into a circle we're going to be stitching in this circle and if you would prefer to do the magic loop here or the magic circle whichever you call it you certainly can we're going to go in pull up a loop and chain three now all of this that we're going to be doing is going to form first the wing the head the wing and then the body portion of our angel all right let me make sure my notes are where I can see them we're going to stitch two double crochets there's one and two now we're going to chain let me see I'm check my notes chain three I want to make sure <clears throat> we're going to go in with a slip stitch and chain three one two three so this is one of the wings made now we're going to stitch two double crochets one and two and chain three slip stitch back in our chain five and chain three that tail all the way there one two and three and we're going to repeat that again two double crochets one two and chain three slip stitch in the chain five and chain three so so now we have a wing we have the head and we have a wing now we're going to do the body and it's just a little bit different we did our chain three we're going to stitch three double crochets one two three and now we're going to chain three wing head wing now we're doing the skirt chain three and turn and we're going to stitch a double crochet in that first double crochet stitch so that it looks like we have a chain three and a double crochet in our first stitch we're going to double crochet in the next two stitches one two and then we're going to stitch two double crochets in this last stitch one and two and now you can see that it's formed her skirt we're going to chain three one two three and now we're going to make those little ridges that are on the bottom so we're going to slip stitch in the first stitch chain three one two three I should have said ripples not ridges because these are little ripples one two three slip stitch in the next stitch one two three slip stitch in the next stitch one two three slip stitch in the next stitch one two three and slip stitch in the last all right so there's those little ripples that make her skirt sort of fan out we're going to cut our yarn 
Take a second to weave our two ends in, and then we'll sew on a button. I think I'll use that red button because I think it'll look nice with this gold. All right, so I'm just going to go in, trying to go through fibers and stitches. All right, now we're going to close up that little hole in the center. We'll pull on it a little bit to kind of close it. And then we'll just go around those stitches. All right, now we can go ahead and cut that off. And there is our adorable little angel with her little ruffle skirt. Now, if you want them to be a little bit crisp, there's two things that you can do. You can put it on a blocking board, spritz it with a little bit of water, just kind of stiffen it up and shape it. But if you want it to be stiff and not bendy, you can do a solution of 50% white glue and 50% water, mix it up real good. You can also throw some glitter in there and mix that up in there real good and then soak it in the glitter, the, I'm sorry, soak it in the glue with the glitter in it and then set it on your blocking board. And that'll give you a glittery angel and it'll make it just a little bit stiffer. A lot of people use sugar water. I don't care for that. And the reason is my mother-in-law made me some beautiful stars and she used a sugar water to stiffen them up. And they were beautiful. I hung on my tree for several years. And then one year I got ants really bad because um, we lived in Oklahoma at the time and the moisture had gotten in and caused that sugar to soften and then the ants came in. And so that's just, that's just a preference. You can use that if you want to. I like the 50% glue, uh, 50 white glue and 50% water and then just throw a little bit of glitter in. It works perfect. All right, so I'm going to sew a button on. So I'm just going to use this pretty little pink one. I think it'll look nice with the gold. And if you're not going to put these in, use these for anything that's going to get, you know, in the wash, you can just glue these on with what I always say, the handy dandy Aileen's no sew <clears throat> fabric glue. You can do that as well. If you want to just glue your button on, you can do that. I'm just going to make a little knot. And there's my little gold angel. And you'll notice it doesn't have a halo. And the reason is I worked and worked trying to figure out how to make a halo. And I didn't like anything that I did. So if you come up with something that you like for a little halo on that angel, let me know. I tried a chain. I tried just yarn. And it just seemed to look a little messy. And so I left it off. But if you can come up with a really neat idea, you can let me know. And we'll try it. There's another thing um, that you can do I also forgot about. Last year, I think it was last year, maybe two years ago, Repeat Crafter Me made those beautiful globes, water globes, and you could do all kinds of Christmas scenes in them. And I made a whole bunch of them. And another thing that I did, instead of soaking them in the 50-50 glue with the glitter, I bought glitter spray. And you can find the glitter spray in your craft departments, but also over by um, anywhere where they have spray paint. It's basically, <clears throat> hang on a second, I'm getting a tickle. It's basically a clear kind of uh, paint with glitter in it, and that works really good too. Make sure you do that one outside though, because I made the mistake of doing it in my garage. I about got myself high, <laughs> but it worked great. What brand of hook do I use? Okay, these are a set of hooks that I got because I have arthritis in my fingers and a lot of people with arthritis want those big chunky hooks and I can't use those. This is a set that was put out by Hobby Lobby and um, let's see, it's called Yarnology. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like there's 10 or eight hooks. I can't see exactly because it's on the other side of the room, <laughs> but I love them. It has just enough handle that I can hold it really good I have short fingers and arthritis, and these are perfect. I got them at Hobby Lobby, Yarnology. I used my 40% off coupon that cost me about $4. What I do when I want something from Hobby Lobby 
is uh, every week, you know, they put out that 40% off coupon and I'll get one thing unless it's yarn, you know, and they have the 30% off, then I'll get a whole lot more. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> that's what I do. All right. All righty. Okay. Let's talk about what's new at Posh Pooch Designs. Well, the first thing I want to talk to you about is our squishy blanket pattern. And this is the squishy blanket pattern. And I wanted to show you this because I rolled it up and then I folded it over and I tied a bow and I added a little pacifier. And now it looks like a little bunny. And another thing that you can do with this is you can also make a white washcloth for the baby and stuff it right in here and it'll look like your little bunny has a cotton tail, which is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to give this to someone. I don't have a friend right now that's pregnant, but I just heard about somebody that's a friend of a friend that's pregnant, and I want to give this gift. <laughs> and so I'm going to make a little white washcloth. I have several washcloth patterns out there for babies. You can probably find one. And you're just making a white cotton. Isn't it cute? And this, this, this blanket is so stinking squishy. That's why I called it the squishy baby blanket. You can find this pattern on the blog and on YouTube. And the neat thing about it, I know I keep changing my mind here. The neat thing about it is I have several sizes there, but it's super easy. You can make it as wide as you want and as long as you want just by adjusting the pattern. And it's a super easy pattern with repeats. All right. That's the, I was going to say super squishy. That's the squishy baby blanket. All right. The other thing, I know I showed you the little uh, very cute hats we did last week. Okay, that was part of baby week. We also did some little mitts. And these are very important if you have a brand new baby or a friend with a brand new baby because babies have those really thin fingernails and they accidentally scratch their faces. And I, my, my uh, daughter, um, I was just 18 or 19 when I had my first baby and I didn't know anything about these. And someone gave these to me and I thought... Um, why are they giving me these? You know, I didn't, I'm like, what are they for? And she explained to me about it. And I was like, yeah, whatever. Well, after a couple of days, I noticed my daughter had a little scratch. It was really close to her eye. And I'm like, oh, those are very important. And it's really neat. Like if you made a blanket like that squishy blanket and you've got some leftover yarn, these take hardly any. You can make them super quick and just include them in with the gift. And brand new mamas will thank you. And brand new daddies because they don't want their babies to have scratched up faces, all right? Then the other thing we did was the very sweet bib. And this is another thing you can make with the leftover yarns from the blanket that you made for a gift. And um, this one is made with the hug a bunch, bunches of hugs, red heart baby yarn. And this one is just made with uh, just super saver that I had on hand. And they're really super cute. And you can also make them without the face. If you just want it to be a pretty little bib, you don't have to put the bare ears or the bare face. And they're just super cute. And again, if you're putting together a gift for a brand new baby, it's always nice to include one of these in there. And I'll be honest with you, my son was the slobber king, okay? And I loved having these little, little tight bibs because he would just soak his clothes. And I would put these on and it would get that slobber. And then I could throw these... Or if he would stain up his shirt and we were heading somewhere, I could pop a bib on, not have to change his shirt. Because he was just a slobber bobber kid. I mean, seriously. <laughs> he probably still is, but don't tell him because he's like 35 years old, okay? <laughs> all righty. So that's the new patterns. They can all be found on my blog. They can all be found on YouTube. Okay, so I want to talk to you a little bit about YouTube. Um, <clears throat> I get a lot of questions about how do I find this or how do I find that? If you go to YouTube and you're trying to find me, just put my name in, Sarah Satch, in the, the search and my stuff will come up. Once you get over to my YouTube page, I have what's called playlists. Like I have a playlist for baby stuff. I have a playlist for hats, things like that. And then you can search in those places also. But one thing to remember... I have a lot of crochet patterns that I've written through the years. And one thing we've been working on is some of those real, real old ones. We've been updating them, um, adding new pictures, 
adding new sizes, you know, using newer yarns and things like that. But I still have a lot of patterns out there that don't have videos. We're working on it. It takes time, <laughs> you know, but we are still working on that. And I, I get emails every week about how come you don't have a video for this or why don't you have a video for, you know, different things. And so um, we are working on it, <laughs> you know, so it, it takes a lot of time. And um, you may not realize it, but when it comes to filming a video, there's a lot of things involved, like lighting and microphones and cameras and, you know, computers and getting all that stuff right. And me saying it right without having to refilm over and over again, because I get I get twisted on my own tongue sometimes. OK, and then there's lots of photography that has to be done, lots of pictures. And, you know, and then there's lots of editing and then the patterns all have to be tested. And, and a lot of times I want them retested because I want, when I, when my patterns are tested, I want more than just stitch counts and stuff. I want them to be able to understand what I'm saying. One of the things that when I was first crocheting many years ago, you know, the patterns were really difficult. So many abbreviations and things you're like, what are they telling me to do? Because it was like dibbity, 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 dibbity. And you're like, what? <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> and so what I've tried to do is kind of, take my old patterns because many years ago I used to, um, uh, um, I don't know what you call, send them into different places, magazines, newspapers, and things like that, you know, just trying to get printed. And I would go back over those old patterns and I'd be like, I can't believe I did this. <laughs> what did I even mean? <laughs> you know, I'm like trying to do my own patterns and can't figure out those old ones. And so that's what we're trying to do. And, and I don't misunderstand me. I am not complaining in the least. I love what I do. I love making videos. I love laughing. I love crochet. I love yarn, obviously. <laughs> So, but anyway, I just kind of want you to understand that there's a lot that goes into it. And I am really trying to do a lot of those older patterns. I have quite the list um, that we're going to be doing this fall with a lot of my patterns that I want to do update videos on and things like that. So bear with us. We're doing the best we can. And I am so appreciative, appreciative of my husband. He writes all the music for all of my videos. He performs it. He writes it. He edits it. And I, had, I, had, I get people all the time asking me for my music, for my videos on YouTube. It's not out there for anybody else. It's copyrighted just to me, just so that you understand that. They're, they're copyrighted under Songs for Sarah. And, <clears throat> and so there, he writes them just for me. My husband is a, 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 can play any instrument. He also has com the computer instruments. He, I, I don't even know what he does. I just tell him what I'm looking for, and he starts messing around and writing uh, notes and songs and scoring out stuff. So anywho, <laughs> just so you kind of know what's going on. And so, uh, um, like I said, our, one of our goals is to try to get some of those old ones that we've done, get brand new videos, brand new, you know, um, <coughs> getting tickled again because I'm talking too fast. You know, but getting all that stuff done. Okay. We did release one Christmas in July pattern yesterday, and that is the Santa Jar Cozy along with the Elf Jar Cozy. And these are so cool for gifts. I made one in pink, so it would look like a little girl elf. Not Alf, but Elf, Christmas Elf. And here's the Santa. We added a fun little collar. And these are amazing because you can put one of these I have goodies in. Candy. You can put um, jewelry, anything in these gift cards. You can also put like those um, powdered um, cocoa <laughs> with the marshmallows. You can do so much stuff with these. But you can also do the little tea lights. I've got one over here. Like this, the little tea lights. You can do that and use them as decorations as well. And also, you can poke a hole in the top of the lid, put your straw in, and use it for Christmas drinks. Cocoa, apple cider, or whatever you happen to be drinking. But, I mean, they have a lot of really great uses, and they're super easy and fun to make. And I think it would be fun, like, make one for each one of your kids or your grandkids. Make it in their favorite colors. Super fun, right? <clears throat> 
And so that's our first Christmas in July pattern of the week. And then we did the angel. And if you're just clinking in and you didn't get to see how we made the little angels, it's at the beginning of the video. <clears throat> you can go look at it as often as you want to. The other thing is, um, once I edit this video and I shoot it over to YouTube, because remember, I, I love my people on Facebook. You're the best. And I love my people on YouTube as well. And um, some people don't do one. Some people don't do the other. So I try to do both. Okay. But one thing that you can do if you go over and watch it on YouTube is you can slow the video down and you can pause it as needed. Of course, you can pause it here on Facebook as well. But when I'm doing these, I know last week the turtle was a little bit longer and I, and I went a little quick. And so you can go over to YouTube, watch last week's video and slow that turtle down so that you can see how to do it, okay? And <clears throat> that's just something you can do on YouTube. YouTube has lots of really neat things you can do. Like I said, you can fast forward. You don't wanna see that part. If you go over there, you just want to see how to make the angel, you can fast forward through the beginning of the video. You can slow it down. You can jump around in it. You can pause. You can make it louder. You can make it quieter. Tons of things. And you can also turn on the closed captioning on your side. I have all this stuff turned on, and, and, and so you can do it all on your side on YouTube. All right? And that's part of the reason I really like sending stuff over to YouTube like that and doing my videos over there is because it has so many ways for you to use it, okay? And be sure to subscribe and like my videos because if you don't, you won't see them when you go over there, it won't show them to you, okay? It won't let you know they're there. So make sure you hit that little bell, you hit the like button and you hit the subscribe. <clears throat> that tells YouTube, yes, I wanna see Sarah's videos. I love her crochet. <laughs> <laughs> all right now <clears throat> we're almost out of time but i wanted to show you some new yarn that i discovered um one of them is the ombre red heart super saver has a whole bunch of new colors in ombre and i couldn't decide which one to get and so i got this one this one is called a hot sauce let me show you the end of it is that not the prettiest thing you ever did see I just love it. I thought this is so perfect for fall. And I, I love the name too, Hot Sauce. Well, they have a whole bunch of new ombres. And you can find these at Joann's. And Michael's is going to get them in. I saw them putting them out the other day. And also, I talked to the lady at Walmart. And I don't know about your Walmarts, okay? Because I hadn't been to Walmart in months, probably for six months. And I went in there because I'm, I was trying to find, it's a long story, I was trying to find some root beer. And I guess some particular flavors are not going to be making anymore. <laughs> that sounds so silly. But anyway, I thought, well, I was in there, I'll check the yarn. And so the lady was back there. She was one of the stalkers. And she said they, they're resetting it and they're going to have a bunch more Red Heart. And remember, Yarn Inspirations and Red Heart are the same company now. And, and so there's going to be a bunch of new stuff. The other thing I found, and this one I found at Walmart also, but you can also find this at Joann's and Michael's. And this is the Red Heart color block. And I want you to see how that looks on her. See that what they did? <clears throat> it's kind of like big blocks of color, only part of it is variegated. Isn't that cool? And so I picked this one up. It's called, let me turn it over. It's called Iris Bouquet. And I thought this would be beautiful to make a poncho, don't you? So anyway, those are two new yarns that I wanted to tell you about. And they have a lot more colors in both of them. There are a lot of colors in the color block, or I should say color way, and lots of colorways in the ombre. Okay. <clears throat> now, one thing you'll notice if you bought Red Heart Super Saver even a year and a half ago, the feel of it is different. I don't know <clears throat> if when Yarn Inspirations bought it over, they changed the processing of it, but I'm going to tell you, these are a lot softer than the Red Hearts I bought a few years ago. The yarn is a lot softer. Both of these are. And I'm not afraid to admit 
that I stood there in that yarn aisle and I caressed the yarn. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that looks a lot softer. And so I'm like rubbing the yarn. I'm like, that is so much softer. The, the lady stalking, she probably thought I was totally crazy. And it's okay. My grandson says I'm weird, but in a good way. <laughs> it's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> So anyway, I thought you'd like to know that because I know a lot of people have kind of moved away from Red Heart because it seemed like it was a little scratchy at times. And it really depended because um, sometimes I would buy some and it would seem scratchy. And then I'd buy the same thing, same color, and it wouldn't. And so I, I did. I stood there in that, and this was at Walmart. And I stood there and I just rubbed those yarns because I was so impressed because I love ombres, but it takes a lot of dye to get these bright, vibrant colors. And the dye sometimes is what causes it to be just a little scratchy. And also the way it's processed, of course, <clears throat> you know, and so if they run it through more often, probably they have to run it through longer and it makes it a little bit softer. So I thought y'all would like to know that as well. All right. So. That's all I've got for you today. I know it was a lot. Every week I say I have my table filled full of things to talk about. And it's true. <laughs> so I'm going to let you go. I'm going to wish you Merry Christmas in July. Get started on your Christmas projects, okay? <laughs> we have a few more patterns for this week for the Christmas in July. <clears throat> but also I want to have tell you all to have a great week. And keep on crocheting.